Welcome to your favorite online internet program, www.sxmtalk.com. Of course, I have my host, Christopher Emmanuel, and yes, we are here with you guys tonight. We had a couple of days off because some construction was going on in the building, and um, the roof was taken off in part of the building. Water came in. We had to move the equipment and all kind of stuff like that. So we are back with you guys tonight, and we're going to have a pretty interesting program for you. So call a friend, call someone, and tell them to log on now to www.sxmtalk.com. Uh, I want to wish everybody a happy, happy, happy good night. I hope everything is well with you guys, seeing that we was off for a few days. I want to get and roll right into the program, and our program tonight is is uh, based on the few parliament meetings that we had gone past on Monday where the Honorable Minister William Marlin of Infrastructure was at parliament. And, you know, there's an article in the newspaper that came out with Yanchi Leonard saying some stuff. But the reason why I decided to, so decided that we should discuss or have a discussion on this issue tonight is because I want people of St. Martin to be aware of, this, of the kind of um, childish games that are being played in Parliament. And these are the individuals that are collecting the huge salaries these are the individuals that are enjoying the perks and privileges to, to travel two, three times a month to Palatino here and Palatino there and stay in hotels and, 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 and you know, travel first class and they get new phones and they get new laptops. And because they are members of parliament and if those things come along with being a legislator, then fine, sure, there's nothing wrong with it. But what is wrong is when you're enjoying this lifestyle because the taxpayers pay for it. You're the people's representative and you do nothing but just open your mouth and talk nonsense and speak rubbish. What am I talking about? And St. Martin people, I want you to be aware that these are the same individuals. These are the same individuals that's going to come back. They're going to come back in 2014 and ask you to vote for them. They're going to come back and ask for your support. And they're going to say it's for the people. And I'm representing the people. And I'm here for the people. And everything out of their mouth going to be the people, the people, the people, the people, the people, when really and truly it's all about themselves. All right? Why I give you this long discussion is because I want you to focus and understand what I'm going to talk about. All right? When you have a member of parliament could criticize his colleague, another member of parliament, because that member of parliament said, look, listen, guys, right? When I was part of this political organization, I made promises. I told people, if you elect me, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to carry out. These are my plans. This is the vision. Okay? The people elected the individual or the individual got elected or the individual is in government in terms of parliament. And he's saying, now that I am in a position of governing, I want to carry out the promises that I told you, the people. And I'm trying to figure out I'm trying to figure out why would a no, another member of parliament find something wrong with that? Because now you're actually getting a politician who's saying, I made that promise, so I'm going to get it done. There's no excuse. He said, I want to get it done. Whatever ulterior motive there may be, you actually have someone saying, listen, we made a promise, it's in our manifesto, I'm going to carry it out. And here you have another, another member of parliament, right, 
criticizing it and would turn to the minister of infrastructure and say to him, nobody likes you. Nobody likes you because member of parliament, Fran Richardson, left your party. And if he had liked you, he wouldn't have leave the party. He would have stayed with the party and carry out all these plans and stuff and this and that. And I am saying to member of parliament, Yanchi Leonard, you need to grow up. Grow up, my friend. Because the ridiculous statements that you utter all the time in parliament, it is shameful. It is garbage. It is rubbish. It amounts to nothing. You're, you're ridiculous. You're bombastic. This and that. What kind of stupid nonsense is that? You're a member of parliament. All right? And you're saying that no one likes a minister, William Marlin, because France left his party. France left him and went independent. So no one likes him. I'm saying to myself, MP Yonchin Leonard, seriously? This is the time this is the kite the, the, the type of crap that you're gonna talk? Because if no one likes William Marlin, we are talking about an individual that gets a thousand plus votes every time, never drops, never dips, a thousand plus votes every election. Yet you have the audacity to sit down in parliament and say no one likes him because this one left his party. So let me get it straight. If that's the reasoning that you're using, then member of parliament, Yanchi Leonard, no one should like the honorable prime minister, Sarah Westcott Williams, because you left her party and formed your own. Then no one, or you don't even like yourself because you abandon your own party and then join the PPA. Then if that's the case, then no one should like Grassita. Or you don't like Grassita because you left PPA and then you went with an up. So which one is it really? Who likes who? Who do you like? You seem to have no liking for no one. Because you left the Democratic Party, you left your own party, you left the PPA party, now you're with another party. I mean, the reasoning that you're using, it is, it is, it is stupidity. And these are the people in them that are legislators. These are the people that we have in Parliament, right? Making laws and decisions for us. And you listen to this type of nonsense that they talk. So I am saying, St. Martin, I am saying, there's a number of individuals in Parliament. And I'm not going to have that discussion now. But I'm making the list. I'm observ observing what is going on. But there are a number of members of parliament, St. Martin, you should not elect. Don't even consider giving them a vote come 2014. And I have five of them already on the list. Five. Out of the 15, I have five. And I am begging you, St. Martin, not to elect these individuals back to parliament. Because for them, it's about themselves. They don't care about you. It is all about the image. It's about the hype. Okay? And it's about the prestige for them. They would sit down in parliament and ask the most ridiculous questions, nonsensical questions, because they have nothing to do. They just want to gibberish. That's all it is. So when I listen to member of parliament, Yanchi Leonard, talk nonsense. So Martin, people, anytime you have a politician saying, I made a promise to you and I intend to carry it out, he should be applauded for that. And you actually have another member of parliament saying, no. Criticizing it. So I'm asking Johan Yanchi Leonard, what platform did you run on? What were your promises that you made? What were your vision? What are your goals for the people of St. Martin? What are your intentions? Huh? What are you there for then? What's your purpose for sitting in government? What, what, what do you do?
You see? I mean, in some point in time, these are the questions that you need to start to ask these individuals because you don't understand the reason for them being there, how they got there. I mean, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is ridiculous. No one likes you because this one left this. But you left too? How many parties have you left? When you live in a glass house, you don't throw stones, Mr. Johan Yanchin Leonard. You don't throw stones. Okay? Because your reason behind your argument, it is vague as best. It, it, it doesn't qualify, nor does it amount to a discussion. But you guys are see things and figure that no one would come back and talk about it and tell you something about it. Grow up. Yanchi Lennon, grow up. That's my point on that issue with him. I must commend, though, right, after um, all the heat and then criticism that Member of Parliament Romain Laville got over the past weeks in relations to Tempo, and I had, I myself really came down hard on him because I felt that he was out of order and still owes the people of St. Martin and our artists an apology for his conduct and his manner in which he carried himself relating to Tempo. But I have to say this, that on Monday, he were the chairman of parliament. He was a vice chair of parliament, so he sat in as the president of parliament. And I must say, right, for him being the youngest member of parliament, he did an exceptional job. It was very well. It was good. He um, he commanded respect. Uh, how should I put it? He really pulled the troops and called them in order when they was out of place. And I think he conducted his, himself very well. His knowledge of the subject matter was on point. And I would like to encourage the member of parliament to continue on that track to continue on that pace. I felt that uh, his discussions, his, his, his straightforwardness, his um, stance on the different issues, his knowledge on the various subjects, right, and his, his uh, defense towards members of parliament was done in a professional manner. And I'm saying congratulations, good job. That's the path that you should be on. Member of Parliament, Romain Laville, I felt that you really conducted as President of Parliament, as Vice Chair of Parliament, right, in a very, very good, satisfactory manner. So uh, as much as I would come here all the time and want to criticize and always want to pong down and hammer and say, when this is wrong and this is not right and you, you know, you're out of place and you haven't done this and you haven't done that, I'm also not too big and I'm also, you know, observed when things is done right and I felt that you really did command yourself properly in Parliament as President of Parliament on Monday in a professional and a good manner. So those are the things that I wanted to talk about. So I'm saying to the Member of Parliament, Romain Laville, it was a very, very good job. And I know that you guys have listened to the program or people just call you guys and tell you guys to watch it and look at it. And if you don't get it tonight live, I know you're going to probably get it tomorrow or over the couple of days coming. Uh, moving on on different subjects, though, we are coming on to the Christmas season. And like I said to people, it's, it's time for you to be with your family. And I would encourage individuals to go out and um, do a little shopping, spend some money, and you know get your loved ones some gifts and friends and families. And on behalf of us here and St. Martin Talk, Sunday coming, God spare, would be our last show <coughs> for the year. We would we would take our Christmas break, our Christmas holiday, as of Sunday coming. And in the coming new year, we will resume our program. And uh, that date 
as to when we will resume the program will be announced on Sunday. God spare our lives. So we have tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday would be our last program for the year here. And um, like I said, it's a milestone for us here on SXM Talk because November gone, you know, made it a whole year that we have been doing what we are doing. And we are coming to come. Like I said, uh, there are still some things we are trying to get and some little tweaking here and a little tweaking there. I know the individuals who have been into the studio does be shocked when they see what it, what it all looks like. But like I said, it's a work in progress. And we want to thank everyone for logging on when they can log on and viewing the program. And yes, um, I know many of you guys told me that you miss <coughs> the broadcast all the time. You forget no time to log on. I'm still working on the BlackBerry. Uh, the reason for it is that I had I had offers in terms of getting a new one, but because I had I have so many contacts with the old pin, I, I don't want to get rid of the old pin. And then someone tell me, yeah, but it doesn't matter. You can just send all the pins to the new contact and this. Uh, yes, I know. But then I have to re-add everyone else. So I'm trying to get this phone fixed. And then I can get back the same pin number. And then in the coming year, we'll be back on track with the broadcast. And then, like I said, the campaign has already started. And, um, you know, we're going to have some pretty interesting program. Individuals already slating that they would like to come on. And trust me. 2013 is going to fly so fast. And then here comes 2014. We are into an election year. Everybody will be pastoring. New parties will be coming up. You're going to see all sorts of people jumping here, jumping there. All sorts of different individuals are going to be coming up talking about for the people and they can't stand the sideline no more because getting into parliament for them, they think it's sweet. Everybody want this life. Everybody want to live this sort of, of, of how should I put it, um, political hot jog they want to be the one in command in control because everybody think being a member of parliament is a life to be but i'm saying i'm saying to people right uh, performance count performance matters and judge individual right not on the basis of friendship but their, but but on their performance and like i'm saying i have five individuals that i have written down who i am saying to you you should never elect again in parliament of st martin um it may come across as being biased, right? But the reason why I'm saying it is because I know. I know for a fact that they do nothing in Parliament. You see, they do nothing. Uh, tomorrow, God spare, or the coming week, there's a big promotion going on with the IDAD. I don't know much about it, but we have a program coming up with IDAD, and I would um, you know, let you guys know more about it tomorrow or Friday if I can get the individuals to come on. And like I said, Sunday will be our last program. So Samantha, we're going to leave it here for you tonight. And um, tomorrow, God's prayer, we're going to be back. I want you guys to take care of yourself. God bless each and every one of you. Take care of yourself. Goodbye. Good night. There was a time when people dare not utter a word. There was a time when people were in the dark and searching for accurate information. Just when all hope is lost and frustration hangs in the balance, XSM Talk emerges and broke the silence. Join host Christopher Emanuel for live and serious discussions and hard talk.